Almost one third of San Diego's registered electorate is a nonpartisan voter, but new rules say they cannot vote in the presidential primary unless they declare a specific party preference. 10 News reporter Rena Nakano helps us navigate what the San Diego Registrar calls the most complex and confusing election of our time. Attention San Diego voters, the primaries are just 60 days away. Are you ready? First off, are you registered? Are your name and address updated? Is your party affiliation correct? Your party does matter. If you are, you can vote for presidential candidates only in that specific party. If you are a nonpartisan voter and want your vote counted for the presidential primary, you have until election day to re-register to a specific party. But San Diego Registrar Michael Vu asks, why put it off until the last second? Doing that on election day will only create a longer line at, on election day. Now, if you are a nonpartisan mail-in voter who wants to vote for a presidential candidate, candidate, listen up. You must re-register to a specific party by January 6th. That's next Monday. You have three options. Re-register for a crossover ballot for the American Independent Party, Democratic Party, or Libertarian Party. This year, the Green, Peace and Freedom, and Republican parties have chosen not to allow nonpartisan voters to participate in presidential primaries. If you miss the January 6th deadline, you can still vote on your nonpartisan mail-in ballot. The only thing is you will not be able to vote for a presidential candidate. To re-register your party affiliation, you can send back the mailer you got last November or head to stvote.com, click nonpartisan crossover party ballot request form and email your response. Or you could call the registrar's office and request a change. Remember, the deadline to do so is next Monday, January 6th. Learn, verify, and act now. Rena Nakano, 10 News. Again, the January 6th deadline applies only to nonpartisan mail-in voters.